Well, hello there, and good morning. Today I am here, which is at Barnton Tunnel. But I'm not going on the canal today. Well, not much of it. Today, I am going on the river. I'm better than that. I'm going down the Anderson boat lift, which I've never done despite being on the canal all my life. I've never done it. And even better again, I'm doing it on an historic boat. So when I was younger, we used to moor um, that way, which is back towards Preston Brook, and we used to moor on the Bridgewater Canal. So from there, we could go two ways. We could go down the Bridgewater, towards Warrington, and Stockton Heath, and Lim, and all that area. Or we could turn right, and we could come through Preston Brook Tunnel, and we could head down the Trenton Mersey Canal. And sometimes we'd stop at Acton Bridge, more of that later. But more often than not, we'd come right the way through here, which involved three tunnels and a little stop lock. Remember stop locks from Orderly Junction? So we used to come down this way quite often, because it's really pretty and quite an interesting historic place to come. So this used to be uh, my old stomping ground really when I was younger, down towards Anderton and the boat lift. But when I was younger, the boat lift wasn't working. I think it closed in 1983. Um, and it was just laid derelict for years. Everybody had a little yellow sticker in the window around here on the boat saying, save Anderson boat lift. Because it was part of a big restoration scheme. And weirdly, my mum was actually part of the original committee that was uh, on the Anderson boat lift restoration thing. Yeah, my first time on the boat lift. It's going to be on historic boat. Um, one of the Woolwich boats that used to work for the Grand Union Canal Carrying Company called Bargus. Uh, it'll either be that one or another one called Halsall. I'm not too sure which one I'm jumping on yet. So I am just approaching Anderson now. So I might go and stick the drone up and get a bit of footage and uh, show you what it looks like now. Ah, oh, the good old Stanley Arms. This was pretty much the drinking hole that we always ended up at. Yeah, I remember it the other day when we came down, uh, me and dad came down for a little walk down by the canal. The, the play area in the pub used to have a putting green. So it was a big flat one, looked a bit like a bowling green type thing, but it was a putting green. It had little flags in, little holes, and you could get your, your golf sticks and uh, have a knock around while, you, while your parents were having a pint. Top pub. Still is, actually. So this here, behind us, is the waiting area and the entrance point for the boat lift. So those two chambers there and there are almost like a bridge really and they get the boats over to the lift itself which is the bit in the background you can probably see the black and white bit now when the lift was first opened it worked on a counter system really so there are two big tanks really known as caissons and when one caisson went up the other one went down so they were counterbalanced really and all the cogs on the top of the boat lift, which all moved to make this a smooth process. Nowadays, it's powered by hydraulics and each one can actually operate independently. Well, 
the phrase like a pig in doo-doo comes to mind. So I'm in the hold of a 1930s historic narrowboat, about to go down the Anderson boat lift, as I said earlier. And uh, yeah, we are just entering that little area, the wasting area that I showed you earlier on. So let's go down the lift on a boat. now in the lift, the lift area itself that was the black and white bit at the back that I mentioned earlier on and we are in the left hand side of the caissons. Uh, the two boats, Vargas and Halsall, are berthed up together so there's Halsall next door and we're just about to go down and uh, I am having fun I must say not everybody's fun, I understand, but as somebody who's into industrial heritage as much as I am, and old boats, then this is the real deal. Chocks are away, as they say, and we are going down. So what you can see behind me is actually the other case on with a boat in it going up. So we're pretty much down at river level now. So we've come down from the Trenton Mersey Canal on the top level down to the River Weaver, the Weaver Navigation it is. So the idea was when there was uh, carrying traffic around, they could transship stuff from canal to river uh, and get it down to the docks at Runcorn. Uh, this area known for its salt mining, as well as chemicals, and of course just any other cargoes really. It would either be transshipped at the bottom basin here on the, on the Weaver itself, or the boats themselves, the narrow boats, could actually go down to Western Point docks and unload there onto Mersey Flats or onto the tankers and the likes. So, this is the first. Off we go on Vargas, out onto the River Weaver. And we are just about to get wet, so I'm just gonna cover you up for one second. So, Halsall's gonna come in behind us. There we go. 
And that's it. We're out. We're on the Weaver. experience. So I am just leaving Acton Bridge now. There is the said bridge behind me and a lovely collection of very beautiful historic narrowboats. So I have had a nice time on the on the tiller today on Bargus which was just absolutely lovely. She was a beautiful boat with loads of power which was good fun. So I will love you and leave you. Thanks very much for watching if you have. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and all that jazz, like the page, uh, and hopefully we will see you again very soon. Daddy bye!